Hey guys, I'm Mel and today I'm going to talk about the books I changed my mind about. So I guess there's no need to say why I'm doing this video. I feel like if you've been reading for a long time, you have changed your mind at some point about any of the books that you've read for the worse or for the better. The first one is a series that has so many books that I feel like they polarize a lot of people and that is the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Maas. So I was the biggest Sarah J Maas fan and I believe this happened because I wasn't reading too much fantasy. Even though I've always liked fantasy, I've always had problems trying to find some that I would like but when I first read Throne of Glass it was 2014 everyone was reading it and I read the first book and I hated it but I continued with the series a few months after reading Throne of Glass and I loved Crown of Midnight and I love uh, Air of Fire and to be honest I loved Queen of Shadows and Empire of Storms in different ways that I loved Crown of Midnight because they are very different books than the first ones. But even though the feelings that I attached to those books were always very very positive, there has been something in my mind that it just makes me not like the books as much as I liked them before. Especially with Sarah J Maas' problems with diversity, she only writes like white characters and tan characters. I've also noticed in the last book, especially Empire of Storms, I didn't like her writing style anymore and that might be because how I've changed and at the same time I feel like her writing also changed. I feel like there are so many unnecessary things in that series but there are so many things that were necessary that just weren't there. And I've said this before but after reading the sixth and final book of Throne of Glass whenever that comes out and the last book in the Kotar like trilogy I'm not going to continue reading her books that I'm not going to continue to support her because like, I'm already attached to those series but I feel like I'm not attached enough to continue with whatever she's writing so yeah I would prefer to support other authors that you know I like more <laughs> another series that I just don't like anymore is the summer trilogy by Jenny Han so surprisingly I gave all the books four stars when I first read them I don't know why because all I remember about that trilogy is that I really really didn't like it I really didn't like the direction it went I really didn't like how Jenny Han treated her characters I feel like all of them got a really bad Plotline. So there is no way that I would like how that book ended just because all that disrespect that happened during the trilogy. All the feelings that I have towards that series are negative. I just don't remember liking anything about it. The art of being normal. I'm going to leave links of own voices reviews in the description but this book has a lot of transphobic ideas. It has so many problems with the pronouns and with the identities and with the perspectives and with the feelings that the characters felt that are so unrealistic and honestly I didn't notice when I first read that book but I read it years ago and I was uneducated and ignorant about a lot of these subjects. I feel like I didn't even know what own voices was when I first read this book so now I wouldn't pick up a book about trans characters that is not own voices to understand what things are microaggressions and bigger aggressions like the thing i mostly remember is that after one character comes out as trans the other character who is also trans kept thinking about that characters with the wrong pronouns and even that other character the narrator referred to her as a male even though she was a girl. So I recommend to read On Voices Reviews. I really regret giving that book four stars when I first read it. It wasn't about me, it was about the people that was hurting. So it's so important that you acknowledge those things and you make people aware of the problems of those books. And you know it's so important to boost trans voices because you know they are the voices that you need to hear when you want to know about trans lives you don't need to hear it from cis people the bone season by samantha shannon i 
really like the idea of that book because I do like that it's a lot of things. I like that it's science fiction and fantasy. I think those feelings haven't changed, but I think romanticizing the relationship between a slave and a master is just wrong and giving people you know the numbers and calling them by those numbers is just insensitive especially because of how slavery works that i feel didn't have the intention to be that harmful but i feel like we really don't need the romanticization of the master and slave relationships then i'm going to talk about almost all the books by colin hoover i believe that the books that i haven't changed my mind about are Confess, Maybe Someday, and the last one, I don't remember. The last book I just didn't like at first, I still don't like it. Maybe Someday I really, really liked it, and I feel like I'm going to keep liking it. Even though I know it has a lot of problems, it just, I can't, I can't change the way I'm attached to that book just because of the moment I read it. But all the other books by her, I know I like, and I know now I would hate them because of uh, problems of consent and misogyny in general. I was a terrible feminist and hopefully now uh, I can read things like that and identify the misogyny in things. This is like all the shameful things that I liked before <laughs> and now I know that I shouldn't have liked. Finally is another awful book and that is None of the Above by I.W. Gregorio. After reading the review I'm going to leave in the description. Just it changed my mind like I couldn't believe that I didn't see all the homophobic, transphobic and insensitive and phobic against intersex people. I just couldn't believe that I.W. Gregorio didn't do research about what she was writing about, but I thought I was reading a well-researched book because I didn't know a lot about intersex. But apparently there was a shit lot of terrible things in that book, so don't read that book, read other books, read Golden Boy, that is also not on Voices. Anyway, if you need more information about the books that I talked about that were harmful, like the Bond season and, and the art of being normal, I'm going to leave the links to On Voices reviews in the description because obviously I haven't experienced any of the things that those books talk about and they are not part of my identity, so make sure to listen to their voices more than you listen to mine. Yeah, that's everything for today. Hope you like this. If you did, subscribe. I will see you when I see you. Bye!